All right, as you can see, we haven't really changed our clothes. I'm in my shorts and thing. You should not be in a kitchen with clothes like this. This shit will catch on fire. So I'll be careful. All right, so now we're going to make two kinds of grilled cheese. So I'm going to do a very simple desi style cream, uh, grilled cheese. And I'm also going to do a slightly more uh, funkified, fancier cream cheese. Are you doing a BLT also? Huh? Are you doing a BLT also? That's another video. Oh, okay. So that is also coming up. Yeah, yeah. So we're going to do a... I, no, no, I don't. Hold on. Let me do it again. I'm destroying my... He has zero miso plus. <laughs> no planning, nothing. I've got him instructions, how many ounces. I've got everything has been thought through. He just eats my mise en place. <laughs> then my mise en place will become like his mise en place, which is non-existent. <laughs> and then I will lose my shit running around going, well, no more chance. <laughs> and he will be like, Chai, potato dalde. <laughs> Mayonnaise my anda nahi hai, fried egg dalde. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do a grilled cheese. I'm going to do a fancy grilled cheese first. And I found this bread and I, this is no way uh, endorsement. But it is sort of an endorsement. So anyway, this is Suchali's. I found this uh, bakery to friends. We were in Sitla for four months or three months last year. And we so fell in love with this bread that we managed to send an Innova all the way from Sitla, Mukteshwar to drive nine hours to Gurgaon to the factory and pick up a carload full of bread and croissant to bring back to uh, Sitla. And then we put it in the freezer and it lasted us another month or so. By the way, this is called a boule because I don't know, a bowl, I guess, in French. So I'm going to do a sardo. And now you see sardo everywhere in the world, but it still is my favorite because I like that little sar note. If you notice a good sardo, a really good bread, when you grill it or bake it or roast it or put it in the oven, it gets really hard around the crust. And when you take a bite, it destroys the top of your mouth, like absolutely fucks it up. So I'm going to show you a little trick. Now, I have never in my life used a vegetarian mayo because the entire purpose of a fucking mayonnaise is to be egg and oil. That's a liberal amount of butter. Remember, this side there is no butter. This side there is. So I'm going to cook it on one side and then I'll show you a little neat trick. Remember, you're usually grilling or toasting, right? You toast it, then you add the cheese. We're not going to toast it, A, because we don't have a toaster. Right now, I'm just sweating, adding salt. All right, you've got a little bit of crust going on that side. Now, this is the magic of playing around with this. So you see, this side is soft, this side is crispy. There's a reason behind it. We're going to use a little bit of uh, Dijon. I'm going to attempt to use some of this nonsense. So I'm going to add a little bit of smoked Gouda. I don't know why we use that little, but I will add more of that. We have some truffle cheese. This heat, all the cheese is melting anyways. So, now this is the soft side of the sandwich, yeah? And we're going to drop a little bit more butter. Can you not eat my mise en place? I calculate everything in- Shut up! You didn't know how much amul cheese came. There were eight slices. Why are there five slices there? <laughs> He cut, I asked him for eight slices. Why are you eating my mise en place? So I, I'm going to just add a little bit of salt. Oh, look at that little cheesy bit. Let's go outside now and eat it. Yeah, super hot. Oh, wow. Oh, that combination of chicken. Oh. There's like a sweet going, there's a little bit of sour, there's salt going. I'm going to make a very simple desi style grilled cheese now. Slightly more fancier grilled cheese you should have with salty a little bit of sweet, right? I would use uh, uh, grilled onions in this or like an onion compote. A little bit of sweet enhances the flavor. Chef, why don't you come and try one of these? 
चार्डो एक्चुअली वर्क रियली वेल विद दैट और थोड़ी सी मिठास है इसमें वी यूज अ स्मोक गुड़ा विद क्रैनबेरी वी यूज अ रेगुलर स्मोक विद ट्रफल्स हां ट्रफल का स्मेल भी आ रहा है पीछे से एंड देन अ चेडर एंड अ मंचेगो व्हिच इज अ स्पैनिश चीज सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू मेक अ देसी वर्जन ऑफ अ स्पाइसी ग्रिल चीज आई एम गोइंग टू कॉल इट द थेचा चीज Chanky is using up the rest of the cheese that I use for the fancy grilled cheese. Now we're going to make a desi grilled cheese, and for desi grilled cheese we're going to thecha it up. And I'm going to use apna store bought milk bread, standardized. But I'm going to use some techniques that I shared with you earlier. So I'm going to use the same technique that I used earlier, just so that I can crisp up one side and not tear up my face with the other side. Okay, so you're going to put butter on one side. Remember it's not a very healthy that's a that's a judicious amount of butter being used judicious means kafi butter istemal ho raha hai ye kisi ne claim nahi kara ki healthy dish hai agar claim kare to wo jhoot bol rahe hain ya aapko kuch bakwas khila rahe hain i'm going to use this side down and let it cook for a little bit thoda sa toast hone denge hum log i i'm not entirely sure where grilled cheese actually comes from i think everybody has a different version with ham without ham there's a croque monsieur there's a croque madame for french breakfast this very american style of grilled cheese which usually have it with a good tomato soup or roasted tomato soup so now we are achieving i prefer to toast it but i don't have a toaster so i'm going to and this has slightly higher sugar content so it's burning quite fast we're going to take a little bit of mayonnaise i'm going to use a little bit of kasundi Kasundi is going to add, of course, the pungent bits, but it's going to add a little bit of sweetness. And now, I'm going to add the green chili. And now we're going with good old amul cheese. I don't think there's anything wrong with amul cheese. I think an absolutely fine cheese-like substance, and I will leave it at that. Now, I'm just adding a little bit. I had a little leftover of that truffle stuff just for some fun. Here you go. ये हो गया हमारा थेजा सैंडविच वंड इफ यू हैव इट विद अ ग्रीन चटनी शैल वी सी इफ यू कैन हियर एनी थिंग ओ या और राइट नाउ वी टेक इट आउट साइड ओ नाइस थिक स्लाइसेस ऑफ सो दिस इज अपना थेचा स्टाइल आई डोंट नो व्हाट आई डिड इसमें सेव भी डाल देना चाहिए था सेव केचप सब कुछ डाल दो थेचा स्पाइसी It is mm-hmm. very spicy. Very nice. No, no, no. Hey, this is you've gone. You went to my territory, right? Huh? This is Bombay, <laughs> Bombay sandwich type. Huh? Cheesy, thecha. Do you feel it? Verdict: This is that. Nice. Very Bombay. Yeah, yeah. But see, this is what I care about: is this perfect crust that comes on the outside. Yeah. Well done. You look like you work for this one. Look at this man. All right, we're now moving on to the more mass style, desi style. We're doing a a Bombay sandwich, Bombay style. Always remember, good cooking is with friends. So we're doing a masala sandwich, which is with alu. I dislike beet, so for anyone who is very particular about beet going into a Bombay sandwich, because I personally dislike it, I'm not doing it. and i am super lazy to make that green chutney so the green chutney since i am in a restaurant they already have green chutney very decent green chutney so i'm going to use that in the sandwich my biggest problem is kabhi zindagi mein aisa commercial kitchen mein banaya nahi hai i don't understand what gas is high what gas is low it all seems high only to me not a big fan of till but dekha hai maine karke main dal raha hu andar साउथ इंडियन में से स्पुट लिटिल बिट ऑफ करी
मसाला बनाने की कोशिश चल रही है बनेगा कि नहीं हमको भी नहीं पता स्पाइसिंग दिस वन आपको लेट बिट बॉम्बे टोस्ट की जान है उसका मसाला उसका मसाला को या तो मैंने उसकी जान को मार दिया है या तो उसकी जान अच्छी बन गई है ये हमको पता लगेगा एक बार ब्रेड में जाएगा उसके बाद यूज टू सॉफ्ट ब्रेड्स फीड ऑफ फैटमैन बटर एंड चीज इज वेरी लिटिल टू कंप्लेन अबाउट ऑल ऑफ यू ऑल वंडरिंग वाई एम यूजिंग माई हैंड मैं अभी धोया आया था दबाने से अंदर का आलू भी पकेगा और प्याज भी पकेगा और टमाटर के लौड़े लगेंगे ये भी लगता है ना वो बॉम्बे सैंडविच का ऊपर से पीला देख दिख रहा है क्या नाउ वे गोन डू नॉट एवरी बॉम्बे सैंडविच वाला डज ऊपर लेत दे बटर से थोड़ा चटनी मारेंगे ये मैंने आज तक सिर्फ लोगों को करते हुए देखा है आज हम खुद करके ट्राई करेंगे ठीक है एक दो तीन कड़क बॉम्बे मसाला सैंडविच ओह वीवर लाइटिंग ना मूड लाइटिंग All right, we have a assembly of uh, judges now. Yeah, but this looks uh, quite intense, man. This looks uh, lots of work. I saw there was some uh, potato action, Mas masala, and that looked like masala dosa wala potato. It, it was. Yeah. Oh, yeah, inspired from uh, South Indian Bombay sandwich. <laughs> that's the only bit that saves uh, Bombay food from from its Gujarati ness. No, sorry, we are in Gujarat. <laughs> उथ